Hey crafters, I'm Alex Vanover. And if you're starting here, you're probably new to the Cricut crafting community. And let me be the first to welcome you to all the fun projects and possibilities that you have ahead of you. I can't wait to teach you more about how to use your amazing machine. I got my Cricut in December of 2016 because I got engaged and I knew I wanted to be a DIY bride and I've been crafting ever since. Keep watching for everything you need to know to get started with adhesive vinyl. Adhesive vinyl, or just vinyl as you'll hear some call it, is a product that Cricut crafters use to cut on their machine that already has adhesive applied to the back side of it. So it's similar, but not the same as a sticker. Vinyl has two parts. The top is the, is the film, and that's the pretty colored side. And if you flip it over and peel it off the paper backing, you'll see that the backing already has adhesive applied to it. Let's talk about some tools that you're gonna need to get started with using adhesive vinyl. First is transfer tape. Transfer tape is what you use to transfer the design from the paper backing to the actual project you're going to apply it. Like, I'll show you how to use it when we make this jar. You're also going to need a pair of scissors to cut your vinyl and your transfer tape. A squeegee. If you haven't ordered a squeegee yet, you can also use an old credit card temporarily, but I wouldn't recommend it for the long run. You'll need a weeding tool. I use a pin pen from 651vinyl.com because I think it's a lot easier to use than the typical hook weeding tool. You may or may not use a weeding ring. You can use this to capture small pieces of vinyl as you weed them. And another handy thing to have are some really sharp stab and grab tweezers. You can also get these at 651vinyl.com. They're my favorite place to order. I think they have the best selection and they carry the best products of anyone around. So you can find all of these things on 651vinyl.com. I also wanna highlight transfer tape for a moment. You'll see a lot of different theories on transfer tape. And one of the biggest is that you can use Dollar Tree contact paper. And while there's nothing wrong with Dollar Tree contact paper temporarily as a transfer tape. It can leave a nasty sticky residue on your vinyl if you leave it on your project for any length of time. I prefer to use higher quality transfer tape. That way I know I'm never going to have any issues. I like the Blue Gird transfer tape from 651vinyl.com, but there's also a plain medium tack transfer tape that is really popular that will also give you really similar results. I've also tried the Cricut I've also tried the Cricut transfer tape and I find that it's way too sticky for my projects and I have a hard time getting the vinyl off of the transfer tape. So I don't recommend it, but you're welcome to try whatever you like. As you probably have figured out, there are a ton of different types of adhesive vinyl. So let me break some of those different types down for you. One of the products that Oracal makes is Oracal 631. All of the Oracal 631 adhesive products <clears throat> adhesive products are a matte finish removable vinyl. So 631 vinyl is great for wall decals. Um, they can go straight on your paint and they're not going to damage it when you go to take it off. It can also be used for indoor projects. It's rated for three years of use indoors. The more heavy duty type of vinyl that Oracal makes for crafters is Oracal 651. Oracal 651 typically has a shiny finish. There is a black and white matte adhesive, but all the rest are a shiny finish like this, and its adhesive is considered permanent. That doesn't actually mean permanent, it just means that it's going to last a lot longer and be a lot more durable than Oracal 631. So Oracal 651 would be ideal for products inside that are going to be handled more often like coffee cups, coffee tumblers, things like that that are gonna be washed by hand. But also don't be mistaken, Oracle 651 is not dishwasher safe, so don't ever get that confused with the permanent name. It's also rated for outdoor projects for up to six years in UV exposure, which is awesome. So that means that you can use it for vehicle decals, you can use it for outdoor signs, chalkboard signs, just about anything that is gonna be a little more heavy duty. Oracle 651 is the most popular vinyl, and it's what most people use for most adhesive vinyl projects. Oracle 631 and Oracle 651 usually cut best on the vinyl setting on the Cricut. Then there are other types of vinyl too, like Style Tech Glitter, Caesar Easy PSV Glitter, or this really pretty StarCraft Magic. All of the other vinyls, except for 631, that 651 vinyl sells are permanent adhesive. Vinyls with a holographic finish sometimes don't last as long outdoors and UV exposure, so always check the product page for how long these products are expected to last. 
but all of those conditions, like the type of climate that you live in, vary on how long your vinyl will last outside. The film on vinyls like StarCraft Magic are different than the films used for both Oracle 651 and Oracle 631, so they can be a little bit different to work with. So if you're cutting products like this, make sure you go to 651vinyl.com, click on the left side of the website, there's a pink button called Cutter Settings. I'll put a picture of it right here. Always download that document and double check the cut settings you need to use for your machine on any products that you're not sure the best cut setting for. And it's always a good idea to do a test cut. An example of a test cut would be if I had never cut Starcraft Magic before, you can go into Design Space, insert a one inch shape like a circle or a star, and then cut it on the settings you think you should use. If it weeds well, then you can go ahead and proceed with that cut setting. And if it doesn't weed well, you avoided wasting an entire sheet of vinyl on a, prod on a cut setting that didn't work. Because every machine varies just a little bit, so even sometimes the recommended settings aren't what works best for your machine. Something to be conscious of as a new crafter is to always be cautious about where you order your vinyl. You can buy vinyl from places like Amazon and Hobby Lobby, but honestly, they're not as high quality as the typical Oracle 651, so I would recommend always buying from a company with a good reputation. Vinyl is like anything else. You get what you pay for. So you might be wondering what kinds of projects you can make with adhesive vinyl. You want to use adhesive vinyl on non-fabric surfaces. So some good examples include glass, like the jar that we're going to make, coffee cups, ceramic coffee cups, coffee tumblers, um, laptop decals, vehicle decals for outdoors, outdoor signs, indoor signs. You can use Oracle 631 on your walls right over top of your indoor paint. Chalkboard signs, wooden signs, the possibilities are endless with adhesive vinyl. But remember, you don't use adhesive vinyl on fabric. That's what heat transfer vinyl is for. If you learned something in this video, please give it a big thumbs up. So now that you know the basics of vinyl, let's jump in and try our first project together. Now that I'm signed into Design Space, I'm going to show you guys a really simple adhesive vinyl project that you can start with to get comfortable with using adhesive vinyl. So first, when you go to My Projects, click New to start a new project. Then insert some text. I'm just going to use my name because it's short and simple, but if you have a longer name, I would recommend using another four-letter word like hello or love or something really simple. Once you have your letter typed out, highlight it and go up to fonts. Then you can select your font. I always click, I always filter down to my system fonts because that means that's all the fonts that I already have installed on my computer. If you click all, that's a mix of your system fonts and the, the fonts that require Cricut access and all of the Cricut fonts require Cr Cricut access. So if you don't have access, you have to pay individually for them. When you choose a font, if you're cutting something small like I'm going to, you want to choose a font that's really simple. So I'm going to do my favorite non-script block font. It's called Babis New. And if you Google it, this is how you spell it. If you Google it, you'll find it for free, I believe, on Defont and maybe 1001 fonts as well. Once you have your letter typed out and your font selected, next you want to resize your project to be the size of whatever you are applying this to. So you want to click this unlock button in the lower left hand corner of your Word. And then that allows you to adjust the width and the height without staying proportionate to the font. The width of my project is going to be 2 inches. And I'm going to make my letters one and a quarter inches high. And that's going to fit really well on the side of my jar. Before you click make it to go to the next screen, you want to make sure to save your project. In case you have any problems with the design space, if you don't save your project, all of your work will be lost. So I always save before going to the next screen. And I'll put adhesive final project. Once your work is saved, you can go to the Make It screen. Now here we don't have to do anything because we're not going to mirror our vinyl or change our material because we are using a 12 by 12 mat. Then click Continue. Once you're connected, you can select the machine you're using.
then your machine is gonna allow you to set your material. So if you have the Cricut Maker, you can select the material you're using on the screen by using one of your favorites or browsing all materials and finding what you need. Or if you have one of the Explorer models, you then you can use the dial to set your Cricut to vinyl. When you cut 631 or 651 vinyl, the best setting for that is just the plain vinyl setting on your Cricut. So I'm gonna turn my dial to vinyl. Then you'll see here what your material is set to. So you can always double check that you have the right material. My blade is already loaded, so we're good to go there. A pro tip for cutting vinyl is to look on your screen in Design Space and see how much vinyl your project is going to require. If you lay an entire sheet of vinyl on your 12 by 12 mat, it's gonna get the mat dirtier a lot faster than if you just use as much vinyl as you need. You always wanna place your vinyl in the top left-hand corner of the mat because that is where it cuts by default. Once the arrow is blinking on your machine, you can load your mat. And when the Cricut button begins to blink, you can press it and start cutting your project. You'll know your project is finished when the unload button blinks again, so you can unload it. Then you're ready to weed and apply your vinyl. It's time to weed away the excess vinyl so that we're left with just the vinyl we wanna use on the project. So that's what we're gonna use the pin pen for. So all I'm gonna do is start the corner of this with my pin pen. And because this is a really simple to weed project, the rest of it is just gonna pull right off. Then I'll have to go inside the letters and that's it. Next, we need to cut some transfer tape to the size of our project so we can apply it to our jar. I like to lay my project right on top of my transfer tape so that I can measure what size I need to cut my transfer tape. So next I'm gonna peel the transfer tape off its backing. and I'm going to apply it with the grid as straight as I can onto my project. Then I'll use the squeegee to burnish or rub the transfer tape onto the vinyl. Next, I'm gonna peel the vinyl and the transfer tape off of the backing and apply it to my jar. The best way that I've, that I've found to apply adhesive vinyl is to hold it in the <clears throat> in the shape of a horseshoe. Then I'm gonna go down and try to find the center of the project, then lay down one side of the vinyl and then the other. First, I'll rub it in with my finger a little bit to make sure that it sticks. Then I'm gonna burnish it again with a squeegee. You don't have to rub too hard with a good high quality transfer tape, so I'm just gonna burnish just a little bit. Once all the letters are well adhered on the jar, I'm gonna peel off the transfer tape. I like to usually start in a quarter in a corner and do this at an angle. And there you have it, a really easy adhesive vinyl project. Glass is the perfect surface to start using adhesive vinyl. And this is a this is kind of a squarish glass, so the surface is fairly flat. You could pick up a mason jar from the Dollar Tree. I found this jar at the, at the Target Dollar Tree. I spot. hope your first project with vinyl went well. If you have any questions about using vinyl, please put them in the comments below for me and I'd be happy to answer them.
If you're new here, please consider subscribing to Divine Design Crafts. That way you can learn more about all the really awesome stuff your Cricut can do and get tons of great project ideas. I post new videos or go live every week. So there's tons of fun ideas coming your way. Thanks for crafting along with me. I'm Alex Vanover and let's craft again soon.